HIPEC program at the University of Miami uh, has been was actually the first program in South Florida, and we are a recognized uh, National Cancer Institute, one of the centers recognized as an NCI center. And we had been for about 10 years, so we had treated more than 300 patients in their um, the, in the program. Our HIPEC program is, is a combined program, so it's just uh, not for only one specific disease. That's the, the beauty of uh, our program that we have multidisciplinary care. For us here at University of Miami, we what we consider optimal is R0, meaning there's no residual tumor. And so a patient who is a good candidate for HIPEC is a patient that we can get to R0 surgically with our multidisciplinary approach. So. If there's tumor on the liver, we operate on the liver. If there's tumor on the spleen, we'll operate on the spleen. If it's small bowel, large bowel, bladder, ureter, wherever it is in the human body, we can, um, as long as we are able to resect it safely, then we will do so. And the other, the other really important thing is looking in the areas where they're not clearly visible. So we have to open up areas in the abdomen that are otherwise not visible unless you go dissecting for them to make sure that you resect more. I think since we have so much experience, we have done so many hundreds of patients by, by now, uh, we are very aggressive and we, I think we are more aggressive than most places, uh, I would say, because I think the expertise that we have gained uh, have make us be comfortable what somebody may not consider resectable once that we evaluate the patient actually it becomes resectable and I think it has to to do with the level of the skills and experience that we have and um, and the beauty of it is like we, in a lot of cases we work together like uh, it could be the same patient and is uh, Dr. Sino is uh, we also had Dr. Uh, Chad Rich from neurology that worked with us we had the colorectal surgeons, myself, and in some cases if the tumor is in the diaphragm and we have to resect, Dr. Biami uh, come and work with us as well. So we work together on this. So everybody brings the best of their skills and the same patient and it's multiple teams. Sometimes you will see that that room is 20 plus people in that and multiple machines that we use. We all use different tools but it's, it's a team effort. And then it's not just the surgeons, we have amazing nurses in the operating room that help us to take care of these complex surgeries because it's a, it's a very intense, like if you imagine how a transplant surgery is with so many teams and so many pieces that need to put together, it's very similar in a high peg. And we have a dedicated nurses that, that work just for these cases so they know exactly what we need, when we need it. And I would say that the work that they do is marvelous as well.